C-130s. So was there anything you took from your military background that's like really helped serve you well in terms of this new career and new chapter, like uh, philosophies, frameworks, kind of habits? Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, well, just habits in general, I think, I think doing the same thing repetitively when you're on home inspection is very important. Um, it's sometimes you can't, obviously, you know, if you, if you go inside first and somebody's inside and said, Hey, give me an hour or something to get leave and, you know, you, you change your things up. Uh, so I think, um, I think just having patterns is, is important in general, um, being repetitive, muscle memory, doing the same stuff over and over the right way is important. Um, and I think, I think most importantly, what, what I learned from the military and I transitioned over was maybe patience, um, mm -hmm. because that, you know, the military is a lot of hurry up and wait. And, and with, with home inspections, you know, sometimes when, when you're, when you're busy, it's, oh my gosh, I need to reschedule, but your tomorrow's already full, but I need it tomorrow. So maybe, you know, I think that's a huge part of this. And that, and that goes back to the relationships thing and just kind of trying your best to keep everybody level and, and everybody satisfied at the same time, which, which gets dicey, mm -hmm. you know, you've got, you know, you've got nine inspections tomorrow, not one person, you got nine inspections tomorrow. And then, you know, somebody says, Oh, I need to move my today to tomorrow. And it's scheduled for four o'clock this afternoon. And we need it tomorrow now because the sellers don't want to stand or something, whatever. Yeah. You know, so I think patience is very important because I think it's easy to, um, easy to be snappy back because it's frustrating. It, you know, and, and, and these people know that you're running a business. These people know that you're busy because they're busy and they know how the market is. Um, but at the same time, they're, they have their client's best interests at heart. And so they're trying to, you know, push forward for their clients and things. Yeah, and a lot of very You're trying to be nice. And it is easy for me. anyways. It's easy to be like, look, Kelly, you know, can't do it for you. You know, what, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you expect me to say? You know, right. so, something like that. I mean, so I think patience, patience is very important in, in this industry we're in and, and, and being able to maintain that stuff, especially once you get busy. Now, yeah. if you're, you know, if you're starting out, then yeah, you could, you probably got all the time in the world and enjoy that time. Because if you're a good home inspector, then you're probably going to get very busy, very fast. Yeah. And if you use Victoria, obviously. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so do you have visions of being out of the field and kind of just running the business, growing the business? Like what, do, what do you foresee in the future for you? Cause I know growth is something that's not done well sometimes in this industry and everyone gets, no. on, they get on the treadmill and then they're burnt out. So like, yep. how are you thinking about growth and your role? In that? Yeah. So, so right now I do minimal. I, I, okay. I really, I really don't do a lot of personal inspections. I do spend a lot of time looking over reports um, in the evenings. Okay. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not like, you know, looking at every single lot because we're all, you know, we're all licensed home inspectors are all grown adults. Right. Like, um, but I'll check spelling errors and things like that. Just so, you know, that's just me. That's my personal thing. I don't like grammatical errors. Um, but I don't, I do spend a lot of time doing my best to kind of be the person that is expanding things, like you said, um, and spending a lot of my extra time during the day, maybe popping into a real estate office. I try to do two or three a week. And, and then you, you say that, and then you think like, oh, I'm probably going to run out of offices to go to, but it hasn't happened yet. And I've been doing <laughs> it for about, I've been doing that for about five months now where I'm kind of been yeah. really on the, you know, going, getting side of things rather than the, um, doing the home inspections. Uh, and we've been, we've been able to maintain that. Um, and it, it, we've been really busy with that, picking up a lot of new realtors. Um, I, and I know a lot of guys, in, well, not a lot of guys in the area, a few guys in the area have like a uh, networking person or something like that. But to me, it's important. I think it's important that an actual inspector is able to do that. That way, you know, I mean, somebody's going to ask you a crazy question, man. And you've got somebody out there that doesn't know the answer to it. They'll, you know, you don't want them to have to call somebody or anything. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. It works. I get it, you know, but, but yes, I've, you know, I, I've stepped back a lot. I haven't done any personal inspections at uh, a high scale level. Now I, you do get, I do get the realtor. That's like, Hey, I, I need you to do this. Yeah. Sure. No problem. Or, Hey, this is my personal home. I, I do get that pretty often. Do you mind doing it? Cause they don't understand that we have a lot of great inspectors and, you know, but they've met me like, like Rachel, for example, yeah. my first realtor. Hey, I, I bought a new house. Do you mind doing it for me? Absolutely. Of course. No it's a compliment. You know, yeah. I, I take it as a compliment. 
Hi everyone, this is Louis from Spectora. I'm gonna put three links down in the description below. The first link is for you if you like Spectora, but maybe you just have a couple questions. You can schedule a 15 minute discovery call with someone from our client success team to make sure that Spectora is a great fit for you. It is, by the way. If you're ready to dive in and start using the app, the second link is for our free trial. With the average cost of a home inspection, that's a couple thousand dollars that you'll pocket before you pay us a dime. And the third link is for our Spectora Jumpstart program. If you're a brand new home inspector, you probably need a website, or maybe you have a website that you just kind of threw up real quick and you're not super thrilled with it. In the Jumpstart program, we'll make you a great website based on feedback from you to make sure that it reflects your business, your market, and you. We'll optimize it for search engines and we'll put an online scheduler on your website too so you can spend less time on the phone and more time out in the field working. We'll also bundle it with a full year of the Spector app and we'll do it at a great price too. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you check out other videos on this channel and take care.